Why, hello there. Real quick, guys, uh, before we get this started, a little quick cutaway before we you know, go all the way into it. Um, if you have any suggestions as to how to make all this blank space prettier, right? Something you guys will look at. Let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah. I love you. Welcome back. So, <clears throat> today's topic, gentlemen and ladies, you know, here in the beard care, that's cool too, no judgment here, is a topic I don't see discussed very often, right? That is beard butter. Alright, there are as many different variations of butter as there are companies. Right, everyone has their own specific blend base, you know, you name it. Um, so I'm going to go through what I have currently, <clears throat> the differences that I have found, how it reacts with my beard, um, you know, just some little odd and things like that, right? So first off, what constitutes a beard butter? So a balm is a heavy beeswax base. Right, butter is primarily made of shea butter, cocoa butter, cocoa butter, you name it, it's in there, and along with various other carrier oils. Cool, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. So, some companies I have currently um, I have Chesapeake, uh, Live Bearded, Beard Octane, right? Really good smell, by the way, I like that. Um, Fresh Beards, um, Anointed Beard Rescue, right? And obviously, obviously, I got the Fable Butter, right? So some differences with some of these butters, right, are their base bond. So um, we'll start off with the simple ones, right? You know, a lot of people have heard of Live Bearded, Fresh Beard, um, chest peak. Anyway, um, so primarily, let's look at these two, right? So the ingredients on these are relatively the same, right? They're going to offer a light to medium hold. They're very comfortable. They feel well. Um, and in my opinion, these two are almost completely identical as far as texture, breakdown, you name it, pretty much the same thing. I mean, they even a little bit more yellow on the live bearded I don't know why I don't wear this as much anymore it's sad and it's so good um, so they're pretty pretty well the same they have a high concentration of cocoa butter and um, other stuff like that like uh, oh Lord, live bearded I mean if, if I'm not mistaken they're pretty pretty close um, shea butter cocoa oil jojoba oil avocado oil almond oil grapeseed oil and essential oils for fragrance. <clears throat> now, I don't know what they got going on with these two companies, um, but they do offer a you know light to medium hold. Now, not all beer butters are going to give you that same effect. All right, good example, um, Anointed. All right, their beer rescue. I think their butters are slightly different, but you know I would classify this as a butter. Um, it's jojoba butter, shea butter, aloe vera juice. Uh, fractionated coconut oil, avocado oil, shea nut oil, and fragrances. This stuff is super different, man, than a lot of other butters I've used. It's very, very thin, almost uh, like a mayonnaise-ish consistency. Feels, feels really good in beard, right? Next day you wake up, use this before bed, man. You wake up and your beard feels like it's been kissed by God. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so we're, we're part way through thus far, but I hope you get what I'm going for, right? So we get more so into um, a fable, right? Fable, and you'll see this in some butters, it uses a very small amount of <clears throat> beeswax as a, as a binding agent to make sure all stays together, right? Um, so this... It's kind of obviously a go-to, you know, I'm affiliated with them, so I do get um, a percentage if somebody uses, you know, my code, whatever, cool. Um, 
but I am an ambassador, just kind of like putting that one out there. That way nobody's like, oh, he's making money. Yeah, I'm, I'm a nobody. Let's make that clear. Let's get into uh, Fable. Kind of the, the, the difference that Fable makes, right? Um, most of the oftentimes when you buy beard oil, as you, you've seen thus far, a lot of them use uh, a combination of butter, carrot oils, and either fragrance oils or essential oils. Fable gives you butter. Just butter, right? Just butter. Meaning, you get mango butter, cocoa butter, cocum butter, leap nut butter, shea butter, beeswax. It's a little bit of a binding agent. So, just to note, if you use a um, a product with a higher beeswax concentration, if you use it over a course of time, you're going to need to be a little bit more thorough with your beard care routine as far as making sure it all gets washed out every other day, right? Because we want healthy beards, not gummed up pores. Um, so, yeah, it, it is literally nothing but butter and fragrance oils, right? That's it. That's it. No oils, no, no need to get funky. No need to get funky with it. Then you run across, you know, stuff like this. It's a beard butter, right? Uh, ingredient, shea butter, coconut oil, jojoba oil, avocado, grapeseed, almond, fragrance oil. See, if you can see the difference here, a lot of them use a lot of the same ingredients. Um, and the biggest question I had, right, when I got into, you know, growing a beard is, what's, uh, what's gonna work good for me? And the sad reality is, you have to buy it to find out. <laughs> That's as simple as I can make it. All right, you just gotta test around like I did, man. I've probably got, I don't know, two, three hundred dollars worth of butter between here, my bathroom, and probably, I don't know, six or seven hundred dollars worth of oil. It's for another day. So picking what's right with you for you. Right, a safe bet is always to go through companies that are pretty well known. Um, the bearded being a big one, fresh beards. I didn't care for this, particularly as more of a balm feel. Um, it did offer a pretty light to medium hold. It was really nice, whereas some of your other companies, such as Beard Octane and Fable, offer you know, little to no hold. This is more so a deep overnight conditioning. Super good for your beard. Um, but again, just note, if you use uh, anything with wax in it, you're going to have to use a beard wash a little bit more frequently. So, all in all, man, go online, do your research, watch other YouTubers. Um, some really good ones are, you know, Taddy Mason, uh, Seth, Kenny, not Seth, Kenny, but my buddy Seth, uh, I'll put a link down below for both of their channels and their Instagrams. That way you guys can find it because they're a little bit more articulated than I am and they're really smart dudes and they've been in this game a little bit longer than I have. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I mean, it, to, to just wrap it all up, there are, again, more brands of, than you can count and countless different formulas for beard butters if you you just have to search around to find what's right for you and that's the most important part <clears throat> it's not whether i like it it's whether you like it um so top picks for this specific video obviously um beard octane feels really good in beard i like to wear it throughout the day because i don't know it's just it's comfortable it's light it's not very really heavy um perfect nighttime use stuff is obviously my go-to fable beard coat obviously not something like the shark that's got a really powerful clone scent some of the more subtle stuff um so yeah thank you guys for watching um if you will go down in the comment section tell me what you think right subscribe hit that bell notification and and check out my boys i'm gonna list they're phenomenal dudes my buddy seth just hit 200 subscribers man He's killing the game. Um, and there will also be my affiliate link below. And any other promo code I can find. Um, obviously, I'm only affiliated with a singular company. But if I can find one of my buddies that's connected with one of these, I'll leave it down there too. That way you guys can save a few bucks. 
and it's not gonna help me out, but it's gonna help these guys out who are really trying to work hard and build up their channel. All right, thank you guys, stay bearded, and I love you.